Hi everybody, stained the deck last week and looks great, but um, essentially it's a bit warm to sit here because of the sun that is hitting down on this deck here. So I decided to put up a shade sail and I picked this up which is a 10 by 13 uh, feet um, rectangular shade sail and I've kind of like also purchased some extra hardware that uh, I found on the web and you can see here that I've used um, the hardware clips to connect it to the side of the wall of the house and I've also put in the rope and I put knots on each on the rope on both ends at certain specific distances so I can at least test the length of the rope that I need and the other one is on this side here which are both on the side of the house and so i wanted to try and see if i can connect the other side of the shade sail to a pole which is essentially a uh what's it called a chain link rail that is one and a one and a quarter inch in diameter it's black i like the black because it tends to disappear and is in sync with the design of the rails on the deck so i'm just trying to think how to do that i also you know i'm a bit dizzy with heights so i don't want to keep climbing up all this all the time to set this up every year so i'm just trying to see if i can figure out a hoist mechanism using a pulley and a rope cleat to see if I can just uh, connect the other end to the top. Well, this is the fastener kit that I picked up from Amazon. Um, I think it's also from the same company that I purchased the shade sale from. They claim it's all stainless steel or coated and uh, hope it doesn't rust. But either ways, it's got uh, two turnbuckles it's got a uh, four hook systems. It's got uh, four clips and uh, four and four brackets, and the rest of them are fasteners, allowing you to kind of like, you know, put it all together. But let's see how it goes. So it is quite warm to work on the deck without something so that's why I just temporarily connected uh, the other end of the sail to to the deck post just so that I can work underneath here in the shade uh, while I fix the hoist system I'm thinking of the hoist system for uh, the for the poles uh, that I just showed you a few minutes ago so I've positioned uh, the location of the rope cleat, I mean, so that maybe I can just see if I can uh, turn it or I can actually connect it nicely without having to worry about my hand hitting the, uh, the post cap. And you can see that I've kind of like jigged something up. So this is the, is technically the end of the chain link rail so which normally sits like this right so i'm going to remove the other items that i don't want and i want to try and fit something like this you know trying to fit a cap on that so that water doesn't go in through the tube when I mean, this cap is aluminum die cast so it's kind of obviously it does not rust so I've put in a, a, a you know quick clamp to that, and I've connected a pulley to this one here. And my plan is to fit uh, you know a couple of these eyelets, you know, between these two of these in this area from here to here. And the idea is to connect a single rope cleat um, 
at that position that I just mentioned uh, a few minutes ago so that um, it's you know maybe easier for me to connect it down there well let's see how it goes so these are the regular clips that I found which look stainless steel but I don't know what the material is so either way I decided to paint these black gloss so that uh, it matches the, the the color of the post and these are painted in just regular uh, you know trim clad just to give a bit of a gloss to it and that will go onto the post so that should sit in this manner here one here and maybe one at the bottom so that I can get it uh, connected to the to the deck post so, so the rails will be kind of secure well here I'll have to pre-drill holes into the metallic tube of the chain rail chain link rail tube and that's what is important because I'm going to use metal cutting fasteners or thread cutting fasteners into the metallic tube um, through this um, four and a half inch rope cleat which already has uh, you know nice positions onto that so I'm just going to pre-drill the holes and I think I'm going to use number eight um, fasteners with a hex bolt hex head to fasten this uh, together So those are my markings for the two feet. That's the marking for uh, for the four feet. I'm going to see if I can find a drill bit, a metal cutting drill bit, um, to get the positions into this thing. I might want to have these eyelets facing the back of the yard uh, so that I don't want to see these uh, things sticking out in the front and uh, I'm going to try it out and see what happens. So I'm going to try drilling uh, into the tube using a, a 1 16th uh, metal cutting drill bit and um, increase the size gradually to go up to a number 8 for the threads.
So I've got the position of uh, the holes. I took this to be 63 inches from the top. Uh, this is what clears uh, the post cap on the post. And um, that's what I'm going to try and see if I can locate this uh, rope cleat on this. I wish I could find an automatic quick release, but I couldn't find one. Okay, this time I decided to put a put a flyer below so that I can collect all the filings because it was messing up uh, all all over the place. So I'm going to try and collect the filings because it is a messy thing to either vacuum from the surface of the deck. So hopefully. Well, I found these uh, self-drilling screws um, and I'm hoping that this would work for the uh, rope cleat and uh, I'm going to try it out. Okay, I reoriented the hook onto this cap, which is, as I mentioned earlier, it's part of the chain link fence system. This is for, this is a cap for a one and a quarter inch um, chain link rails. And you can see here, this is the specs for um, the, the rail. I've got the screw sitting tight on this. I don't need to put it right through and through. All it needs is to go into the tube slightly and that should do the trick of uh, holding this so that it doesn't swivel around in the wind. And tied is keyed in through the eyeballs and everything like that. At the very top goes through the, through the pulley and comes down. So that's what we're going to connect to the end of uh, the sail on this one.